All right, welcome to the recap video um, for section three. This video, I mean, it, it's there's not going to be a ton of new information to it. It's just kind of kind of be a, a a section for you to stop, sit back in your chair a little bit, relax, think back on what you've learned thus far. It's it's really really cool how you've gone from zero scraping knowledge to creating something that's pulling down stock price data and pulling down IMDb like filmography data um, literally from scratch and now you're storing stock data and databases that you can later go back and look at and, and analyze and you know use in any manner of projects um, you know that's something to really congratulate yourself over you've gone from zero to close to hero very very quickly um, the next section we're really gonna pick up speed um, it's it's going to really really be based on a lot of the other stuff that we've talked about in the last sections I'm not going to go over a ton of that again like um, you know the basics of setting up Postgres we're going to be using the exact same database we're going to be creating a new table we're going to be you know we're going to be speeding up we're going to be creating much more complex much more interesting and um, much more difficult programs especially in the spidering section when we start tackling the K and the Kevin Bacon problem that actually I, I created the um, the code basically the, the the framework that I'm going to use to um, show you how to solve the Kevin Bacon problem it took me three or four days to debug that and figure out exactly the the best way to develop that so it's not easy and I'm going to be walking you through the process, but it's something that you really want to understand step by step by step. Um, so make sure as we're writing all of this code, um, you know, as you're kind of going through it and running tests and kind of messing around with stuff, make sure that you understand every line of it. Don't just kind of copy paste because you're not really going to gain much from this course. You know, with the weird way that Udemy has their pricing structure, I don't know how much you paid for the course, but you know, if, unless you're viewing this on YouTube after I've made it free, chances are you paid something for this course and you didn't pay to just like copy and paste code from me. You really want to try to learn stuff from this and go through it line by line and make sure you understand exactly how it works. If I didn't explain things well enough, let me know. I'll go back through and, um, you know, explain it in the comments, through emails, DMs on Twitter, whatever. So just let me know if there's something that I didn't do right, um, if there's something that I didn't explain enough. Those course reviews later on are going to be super, super important for me to understand exactly what I did wrong, what data or, or, or what um, different things that I might want to go back over and kind of explain a little bit more in depth. I'm going to add content to this course later on, whether it's on YouTube or on Udemy. Um, so those course reviews and the feedback that I get are really, really helpful. If you want to wait until the very end of the course to kind of tell me what a bad job I did, feel free. You know that's that's your prerogative um, just make sure that you kind of review it because it does help me a whole lot um, if you're on YouTube leaving comments um, always welcome even though I kind of cringe every time I see someone so is like commented on my video because it's it's just always just mean people on the keyboard it's never constructive criticism but if you've got constructive criticism or not constructive criticism just go ahead and leave it um, without further ado Let's move on to the next section on scrapers and spiders and everything else galore.